Good morning, everybody. <laughs> so uh, welcome to Morning Talks with Ro. I went and got my one of my favorite drinks that I like to have in the morning. Did you guys go and pick something up for yourself? I don't know if this is going to be a long talk or a short talk. It all depends on, I guess, the energy we exchange and the amount of inspiration and motivation that we're able to drum up for this morning. But happy Monday. <laughs> Who's excited about Monday? What up? Who's in here? Tanita, good morning. Derwin, good morning. So today, um, we're going to talk about achieving goals. I don't know if we can ever talk about that enough. I think that so many of us need the motivation, need the inspiration, need the retuning and the refocusing for ourselves. Hey, y'all, good morning um, to keep us on track. Because when we wake up, we all know that there's always someone or something pulling at our attention and focus and willing to take our commodity. That's a commodity, your attention and your focus and point it in the direction of their product or point it in the direction of where you may feel less confidence in your life so that you feel like you need to get whatever they have in order to feel more adequate. But if you take your attention and focus and you grab it by the reins and you tell it where to go in the morning, your whole trajectory, where you're going, what you're able to accomplish, how productive you are can change. How did you guys wake up this morning? How did you wake up? Good morning, Tiffany. What up? <laughs> so, um, morning Talks with Ro, 8 a.m. on Mondays. I'm going to do my best to be consistent with this. Um, I'm also going to be checking in to see what you guys are talking about. We're just going to talk about achieving goals and what we need to do. Clarity is power. What do you want? Everybody in this room, are you clear? Good morning, you guys. Are you clear about what you want? Because if we're not clear, we won't probably be motivated to take lasting, sustaining action till we get to our goal. And... Uh, you may not know what kind of massive action you need to take. Like, for example, last time we talked about losing weight, right? You say, well, I want to lose weight. Well, if you lose one pound, is that sufficient? No, right? You want to lose more than one pound. Get specific. What do you really want? You know, if, uh, if there's another goal that you have, have you gotten specific enough? Have you written down exactly what you want? Have you gotten clear in your mind as to what that is so that you can know to take massive action and this popped up for me this morning too. A lot of the times we'll want something, but we don't know how the heck we're going to get there, right? That's usually, if you have a goal that's big enough, I dream big. A lot of people in this room that I see the names here, you guys dream big and we may not know exactly how to get there. Um, just being clear, going to the result, not thinking about the actions that you need to take because sometimes we don't know the resources yet that we're going to need in order to achieve something or we don't know the person or we haven't met the person that we're going to meet that's going to move the needle of progress on what we desire or we may not even know the first step to take in order to get to where we say we want to get and if we get too overwhelmed with the activity it can shut us down so just stay in the result this is where visualization can be so powerful to use I am so big on using your mental faculty, using your imagination, going into your mind's eye and projecting out what you want for yourself. How do you, how does it look? How would you feel, right? And the tricky thing about the brain, the tricky thing about our desire is once we get really clear on what we want, once we um, live in the result, we live in the outcome, then somehow, someway, our brain starts to tune in to what we need to do who we need to talk to, the conversations that we normally wouldn't listen to that are happening around us peripherally, we'll start to listen to them. And then you'll meet that person that's right next to you that normally or before you wouldn't have even paid attention to. But because your focus is there, because you're using your visualization, because when you wake up in the morning, you get re you reconnect uh, with your goals. Uh, if you have a vision board, excellent, right? You can look at your goals. You can see what it what it's supposed to look like. You can get yourself into the feeling of what you feel it's going to feel like. That's going to help to tune your focus into where you need to be in order to uh, be aware of the resources that are already surrounding you that are going to help you to take the next best step. Let's see what you guys are talking about. Um, okay. Good morning. Sending positive energy. Thank you, AJ. Our message in movement meditations all month long is posed in question, what do you really want? It is so important to be clear, you guys. It is so, clarity is power. 
if you just are kind of vague with your desires, you're going to get vague results. So the more clear you can be, and I don't want you to think small just because it's more comfortable. Think big so that if you do, you know, land on something a little smaller, it's way bigger than what you ever anticipated you could have in the first place. Go for it, but get clear about what you want so that your brain can start to tune in to the details. It can start to tune into the conversations that are happening around you that maybe normally you wouldn't have paid attention to, right? Um, I tell my students this at Personal Power University, the, the age old thought about when um, they do the scientific experiment, right? And they tell people to go out and they say, okay, so now go look at all the cars in the street. What do you see? And they say, oh, I saw the black Honda. I saw the uh, silver Civic. I saw the red Range Rover. I saw the green, you know, Subaru, right? You see all these things. You talk about the truck that you saw turning uh, the corner on the other block. And then they say, okay, that's great. Now I want you to only focus on red cars. So now your brain goes, okay, red cars. And then you start to only see the red Buick that just went by or the uh, red truck that just uh, abruptly stopped to miss the pedestrian. And then they stop you from that experiment. And they say, okay, so what else did you see? Did you see the gray car that went by that uh, was next to the McDonald's? And you're like, no. It's because your brain was tuned in to only finding the red cars. That's the purpose of getting focused. That's the purpose of having clarity so that your brain is only tuned in to that which you want. And then once it's only tuned into that which you want, look at you, you're, always, you're looking for. You're subconsciously and consciously looking for the things that are going to fulfill that goal. Let's see what else you guys are talking about. Um, okay, <laughs> speaking truth. Agree and think positive. That's right. Empowered thinking, right? Empowered thinking is where it's at. So does anybody have any questions of me? Clarity is power. Let's see what else you're saying. Have um, I ever had writer's block? And if so, how do I overcome that? Struggling to find ideas for your mixtape. Your goal is to release your mixtape. Awesome. Congratulations on your goal. Have I ever had writer's block? Heck yeah. <laughs> I'm a creative. You know I've had writer's block. Um, what kind, you know what, you know, I got a great suggestion a month ago. I went to go and support one of my um, homeboys at one of his functions. And he told me about this amazing idea that I think is pretty brilliant. And it's a lot of the times we'll go and we'll only find the information that seems to suit us, that we would naturally gravitate towards looking at, right? But what if every day, each of us went to look for something that's completely out of the jurisdiction that we normally would look for? What if you, like when he told me that the very next day, I looked up how to make slime. I don't need to know how to make slime. <laughs> I don't really care about making slime. But you just never know by introducing your brain and your focus to something completely out of the normal place, it will inspire ideas. Um, I forget the CEO that he was telling me that did this and because of that it inspired this huge business idea that is totally lucrative right now I can't remember what it is right now and if I do I'll probably drop back on the video I'll ask him and I'll tell you what company it is he did that because every day he looked at something that was completely out of what he would normally look at out of jurisdiction with what was normal for him and that inspired him in a way that he wouldn't have thought before I see you guys like this idea. It's a brilliant idea. So if you're running into any type of writer's block or creativity block, and that's in anything, you don't have to be necessarily a creative, you know, somebody in the fine arts or what we would normally associate with being creative. Being creative is being yourself. Your unique expression through whatever you do is creative. That is creativity. Just want to throw that out there. You know, it doesn't have to be your typical way of thinking about what creativity is or what being creative is. So try that. If you're running into a writer's block, aside from uh, getting more clear about what you want your audience to have from your music, are you clear about that? Do you have clarity? We're talking about clarity is power today. Do you have clarity about what you want your audience to walk away with from listening to your music? That's another thing that could help break the writer's block being more clear about what you want your audience to take away from your music and then also introducing your brain introducing your focus 
into some other aspect of life that you wouldn't normally introduce yourself to in order to just kind of scramble the pattern and give yourself something new to think about and then bringing that thought maybe subliminally or consciously to your project and seeing what it inspires. Sometimes you might not even know uh, that it's inspiring the next idea that you have. Uh, it could be, you know, I, I said I looked at the video for making slime, right? And the, it was really fascinating. The colors that she was able to come up with, all the household products that she used in order to make it. I mean, you could make this stuff in your from your cupboard, right? From your um, cabinets, right? The things that are in there. Um, but that may inspire a different way to organize what you do at work. That may inspire a new way to color code, you know, uh, the way that you meal plan. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? But um, just introducing your focus and your brain, your, your conscious mind to something different can bring on a different way to approach something and bring out a whole new uh, means of creativity that you didn't think about before. So hopefully that helps. Great morning. Let's see you guys, what are you saying? Um, clarity, focus, and knowing that you are supported by the universe. Hello, yes ma'am. How do you find grow your tribe? I'm always trying to grow my circle of positive and like-minded people. You know what, Danielle, is that who? You, hey lady, good morning. I pray for it, honestly. Every time that I launch Personal Power University, I have no idea who is going to drop into my circle. And I don't necessarily feel that I'm everybody's coach. I think that having several coaches is, is very good because we all have different personality selves. We're uh, developing in different spaces of our lives. And I'm going to be perfect for someone right now. And for somebody else, maybe not, right? So uh, honestly, I don't know if you lead a spiritual life per se. Um, you don't have to have some specific denomination of uh, religion or something like that. But just it being in touch with the intangible power of that which enables everything to be you know knowing that it's conspiring on behalf of your good what Tanita just said the universe is 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 supporting you it wants you to get clear about what you want because the clearer you get it wants to support you tell it where to go you know your focus tells it where to go so get clear about your what's your value system what do what do what these people we don't even need to know what they look like but what kind of values do they have you know, and think about that. What does that feel like? And then ask for them and know that you're going to be connected to them at the perfect time in the perfect way. Start speaking to things a certain way. You know, guys know how I feel about speaking things into existence, getting all of our faculties working together, your vision, your clarity, your focus, right? Your attention, your vision, what you speak, you know, and then trust, trust. This is all practice. I'm not up here acting like this is not a discipline for me. This is practice. And the way you practice is you speak it, you see it, you believe it. Belief is so huge, you guys. I know this sounds corny, but it's real. Anything that sounds cliche, usually it's because it's tried and proven. And just because it's old school doesn't mean that it is not the truth. Belief is massively huge when it comes to achieving anything massively huge so I want you to speak to that because I, I did the same thing Danielle that's an awesome question I'm like who's my tribe who who are you sending to me next you know and and I just want to be available to that and I ask for that every time before I do anything before I launch my next program I'm always like who's my tribe send me who's going to benefit most from what I have to offer speak to it I hope that helped let's see Still working on your goals, even with a few bumps in the road. Giving up is not an option. Church, church, keep going, you guys. Keep going. That's where the magic is. It's not really that special. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It is a daily practice to keep your focus and check. How did you wake up this morning? This morning, let me just keep it 100. My, my alarm went off and I was like, oh, why am I up? I had to remember why I'm up. I wanted to go to bed. again. I wanted to go back to sleep. I really, really did. But I had to remember, I said, I'm up for a reason. Why am I up? Why am I up? Oh, I got to do morning talks with Ro this morning. And I got to prepare my mind. And not just for morning talks with Ro, but today in particular. Prepare my mind to speak. Prepare my mind to wake up and focus on what I want to deliver. That's important enough for me to get up. That's important. That's way more important than me getting more sleep right now. That's why we want to get clear about what we want, you guys. 
because we're going to naturally default to doing what's comfortable even if it's not in our best interest. It wasn't in my best interest to go back to sleep this morning. It wasn't. You know, so get clear about what you want. Live in the end. Live in your outcome as often as possible. Live in your vision, mind's eye, as often as possible so that that pushes you. So that when you wake up and you don't, you don't want to be up, you remember, why am I up? Why am I up? Vision, outcome, vision, outcome. Because you will naturally default to what is comfortable, even if it's not in your best interest. Let's see. Oh, read that about Elon Musk. Beastie Elon Musk. This is the guy that's behind Tesla. And I think he has some other stuff. And then he's got some other ideas that he's been talking about. Trust me, that's practice. He's trained himself to be that beast. He, he has something so that he wants. And it drives him. Find it. Clarity is power, you guys. Okay, do, how do I stay so positive and spiritually sound when in the ever-changing and unpredictable entertainment business? Uh, it is not often as easy a business, but you always seem so happy and upbeat. Mm. Um, <laughs> practice. My, my daily routine for success. Uh, I don't do what a lot of people do. I don't watch a lot of TV. Just keeping it 100. Um, I know, uh, I trained myself out of that years ago though. And that was after I had hit a wall in my life, a proverbial wall, when opportunity did not seem like it was budging for me. When I thought I was getting ready to change my career. I've been in the entertainment business professionally since 12 years old. And I got to my early 30s and was like, what is going on right now? And then I had to do a personal assessment of the choices I had been making over the years to understand why I was looking at a drought, why I was looking at what is going on right now. What do I do? Am I changing my career? Um, when that happened to me, I got so serious about being happy because I said, even if I don't, even if I'm not an entertainer, I refuse to be unhappy. I refuse to not find purpose for myself in this life. So what else can I do? How else can I be of service? You guys ask yourself this. How else can I make an impact that is, that is of value to the person that's receiving it? Okay, sorry about that. Got a phone call. Also, that brings me joy. You know? And so when I did that, I started to study other champions. I started to go, I did the self-assessment, I turned the TV off, I said, I am about to treat this like I'm going away to college, and I'm about to get in the trenches. I studied for hours a day, because I wanted something bad enough, I had clarity about what I wanted. I knew that I needed to get out of that painful space. So There are two things that are going to motivate us to make massive change, either great pleasure or great pain. I was having great pain. And so I changed a lot of habits during that time. And it took a lot of discipline. But now, look at what the discipline has afforded me. What appears to you as a mostly upbeat, happy life. So discipline is an ally. People look at it as something that's like, oh, God, I got to do this. But when you treat this as a lifestyle change, it affords you a, another kind of joy and another kind of peace of mind that you just don't experience until you do it. This is why I get on here and try to encourage you guys in the, in the way that I do. It may sound kind of hokey sometimes. It may sound kind of corny, but it's affording me a certain quality of life. If that makes sense. Okay. He stepped out of his norm. What's going on here? And went to the burning man. Oh, laughing my butt off. Inspired so many things for him. Awesome. Ooh, I might have to check that out myself to see where it takes me. Uh, makes sense. Good morning, you guys. I see everybody. Kamaya, Natasha, Barbara, Terrell. What up? Oh, all these hearts. I love that. Stephanie, Wesley, Anita, heart focus. Hey, hey, my friend. Blessings to you. Blessings to you, Terrell. Um, love that. Pray all the time, but not usually for your goals. Changing that. Bless up, Danielle. So glad you got some value from that. Love what you're doing, Ro. It's important to give back and share. You're something special. Thank you, Joseph. Thank you, Cortez. That's right. Ronnie uh, makes a lot of sense. Needed to hear this. Great show this weekend. Thank you very much, Stephanie. Glad you made it. Um, wasn't in our best interest that you went back to sleep either. Hello. <laughs> yes, baby. 
dedicate all thoughts to union ryan good morning shanika uh just sitting back watching coach Rowe. hey baby um let's see artez good morning baby music extraordinaire you sent me some amazing music i've definitely been putting that out there um let's see trina good morning baby preach discipline and dedication to that end yes jimmy good morning um gosh you guys have been talking good morning let's see roll love what baby talks oh you got it uh hey look fat thank you lost your connection uh welcome back to the talk a good start to the week oh kimberly good morning okay i see all these hearts i love it okay so before i get out of here you guys do you have any questions of me? We've had a pretty good talk this morning. Sometimes, see, I, you never know what's going to happen. You just have to do it. To be honest with you, I was like, what am I talking about this morning? I don't know. I like to come in uh, even more prepared uh, than I did this morning. And I was like, I got to do this. I said, I'm doing morning talks with Ro at 8 a.m. It's going down, baby. We just got to make it happen. Follow it. Do what scares you. Get out here. Trust that whatever has you've been inspired to do, that's God, that's the most high. I don't know how you speak about that universal source of intelligence that, that sends that intangible feeling uh, to you that says you must do something or it's time to do something. Follow it. The, 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 you only have a small window before you might get discouraged and not do it. So I want you guys to trust those feelings that come in because to me, that's the divine coming in and saying it's time to do something, even if it scares you. That's the most powerful time to do it. And please don't be afraid to fail to success. That's the only way you're going to get there. If you're so afraid of failure, a lot of us will not take the step. Do you know how scary it was for me to start Personal Power University? I can't tell you how scary that was. As much as I knew I had studied and prepared and I feel like I have something of value to offer, that was scary for me. And every time I launch, it's like, Ooh, what's, what's going on? But each time you get a little stronger. Each time you gather a little bit more confidence, each time you get a little bit more clarity or you push a little bit more and you get used to taking action in spite of fear. People aren't necessarily super, super duper courageous like that. Like you think they're like, oh, they're just so, you know, no, it's practice. And eventually, yeah, you may get to there, but you got to do it first. You got to do what scares you. You've got to feel the fear and do it anyway. Great book, Susan Jeffers, feel the fear, do it anyway. All right. Do it scared, baby. Yes. You feel me? Tanita, another person. She has Afro Funk. It was not easy for her to put her own dance program together and launch that puppy. Do you know how scary that is? I mean, we get out there because we're, we're beasts about some stuff, but that doesn't mean that we don't deal in fear and that we don't have to just move and, and do it anyway. You develop the beast. You develop the champion. And that only comes from taking action in spite of fear. Feel me? And this is why I'm so huge on developing a routine for success. Because that way you start, you train your focus, you train your mind, you train your behavior to take action in spite of it. And you also give yourself your own sense of pride, your own sense of confidence. Because every time you walk out that door, every time you pick up your smartphone, every time you turn on that television, something is vying for your attention. They know it's a commodity. They know that if they get your focus, you're off track. They know that if they get their focus on their product, they can tell you how inadequate you are and how much you need it. They know it. So it's so important for you to develop your own uh, sense of focus so that you even know your brain even needs to know when to shut down on something. Oh, that's not for me. <laughs> you feel me? Oh, that's that's not in alignment with where I'm going. That's why TV doesn't really work for me like that. And if I do, I got to turn it on at specific times in a specific way for a specific purpose. Otherwise, you are not serving me. You're distracting me. Seriously. And that takes a second because we're addicted to that stuff. We're addicted to drama. I was addicted to drama. You don't even know you're addicted to drama till you get off of it. And decide to get addicted to peace now I want peace and now I know when drama comes in it disturbs me a lot of the times and it's not that I'm drama free but I don't hang in drama like a lot of people all right let's see what you guys talking about the name of the book feel the fear and do it anyway by Susan Jeffers I'm so glad this is helping you guys I'm so glad that you're getting um value from this talk hey cuzzo 
You're welcome for your birthday wishes. Happy birthday. I'm glad you had a beautiful weekend. You look fabulous, too. Work. All right. Um, this That was the setup when smartphones were made. Let me tell you something, you guys. Be careful of your smartphone, okay? Because anytime we get these little dings, it's like you're getting a dopamine squirt. And dopamine is like this, this natural chemical that the body releases in order to make you feel good. And even if it's just a little bit of something, anything that gives us a charge, that gives us a spark of life, you may want to come back to that constantly, you know? So just be careful of, of, of what you're allowing to give you notifications on your phone on a regular basis. All of this stuff is distracting you from being able to focus on what you need to do for yourself in order to achieve your goals. Okay? Okay, you guys. <laughs> Uh, you still working on your procrastination addiction. Hello. Hilarious. Uh, shouldn't be any drama staying locked into your focus. Yeah, but you know what? Sometimes, let's keep it 100. There are people and things operating outside of us that can bring drama into your circle. So being clear about who you are, what you want, where you're going, helps you to kind of make decisions that help you to um, uh, manage the drama manage the people manage the time you spend with the drama because sometimes you can't always avoid it it's a part of life but how do you manage it how much time do you spend with it how high have you prioritized it or deprioritized it getting clear about your values can help you to do that hey Leland good morning okay you guys addicted to drama and didn't know you were hello till you get off of it yeah you quoted me <laughs> it's true Cheryl good morning Put your phone on do not disturb often smart idea and you shouldn't be in any drama by st yes boom amazing words awesome you guys okay so i'm sending love your way this has been an amazing talk this morning who would have known right i didn't know what i was i was like what am i gonna say today <laughs> you know i try i got clear about uh the things that i wanted you to have in the initial um in the outset of this conversation but i was like i don't know where it's going take action in spite of fear and it turned out amazing and sometimes it may not turn out amazing you're gonna be like oh I feel crazy I feel uncomfortable this was totally uncomfortable I look stupid whatever whatever the only way you're gonna get better is you got to take action you gotta be willing to look stupid sometimes you got to be willing to look like you don't know what you're talking about you got to look like, and you may know what you're talking about, but you may be afraid and everything didn't come out the way you wanted it to come out. That's part of it. Okay. Hugs to you guys too. Um, okay. All right. I'm sending love to you. I hope you got value from this talk. I did. Uh, thank you for chiming in and speaking with me and sharing with me some of your thoughts and your goals and your challenges. Uh, I'll see you guys back here next Monday at 8 a.m. PST, 11 a.m. EST. Uh, until next time, you guys. Bye!